Hey folks, well, welcome back to my channel. And we're in my hangar at Orange County, New York, um, like always. And let's go over to Mooney real quick. I, want, I always talk about how I keep it plugged in throughout the winter and covered. This is what I'm talking about when I keep it plugged in uh, with the front cover and I cover the prop as well as the hub. And it's plugged in so all the, the cylinders are wrapped and the oil pan has a pad in it. Uh, on the bottom of it, I should say. And that stays at a nice warm temperature throughout the winter. Uh, so that's a really cool thing. And I also put the battery tender on it. I pop off um, the top of the battery compartment. Um, and I keep it there so I don't forget to put it back on. And I obviously unplug it and then ready to go with full juice, no issues. Um, but this keeps the, the engine and the oil at a nice temperature. Um, so when I start the airplane up, it's the, the, the gauges for the, uh, oil cool, the oil temperature and the cylinder temperature are basically already in the green. That's how nice this is. And the, the company of this of the, is the product is right here. If you can take a quick peek at that. You can, you can pause it if you like and get some information. Um, but it's very, very good and it's a nice system to have. Sorry for the dirty hanger. Spring cleaning up is coming shortly for some reason. Every winter, friends, things appear in the hangar. I don't know how that happens, but it does. So, but inside the airplane, another extension cord I have here, I have the a little small heater that I plug in the airplane. Hopefully, it, there you go, it gets a little lighter in here. Um, it keeps it at a nice temperature. It's on very low, the lowest setting possible. And it keeps the whole inside the airplane nice and warm. Um, so all the gauges are warm, uh, nothing is sticking or freezing um, because when it does get, you know, uh, 10, 5 degrees and you come up here in the morning and it's just peaking over 10 degrees, uh, you want to go flying, it's, it's easy to unplug this and, and everything inside here is nice and warm and the engine is warm from the preheating system, uh, from the heating, should say, from the heating system I have uh, on the airplane. So that's what I do in the winter time. I don't close the doors all the way. What I do is I close it and leave a little crack like so, so some heat can escape out. And I also leave the back hatch open, as you can see, just a little bit, so some of that heat can escape out so it's not a um, thousand degrees inside the airplane. Um, so the winds are gusting uh, to about 25 miles an hour. Um, and I don't know where we're going. Pat is coming to pick me up. We're gonna fly in his Mooney M20C Ranger. Uh, and uh, we should be somewhere in Jersey. I don't know where, but uh, we haven't decided quite yet where to grab something to eat and just hang out for a little bit. But it should be a nice bumpy flight. Um, so stick around and let you know where we're going. Talk to you in a bit. Oh, real quick, guys. Uh, now these videos do take a lot of time and energy to make them, um, especially when you have to go re-edit them uh, later on in the day. Um, but this is basically what I got to drag along with me uh, every time I'm doing a video uh, is all my GoPros I have in my uh, case here along with I have five of them and along with all the batteries and so on and so forth and then going in packed planes so I took them some of the, some of the suction cups off the airplane and I got a couple GoPros I'm probably gonna have three um, in his airplane I'm trying to figure out where we're gonna stick one behind the shoulder and this is another piece of equipment that I use that's I'm holding right now that kind of keeps things uh, level um, and in my bag all the bag all the fun stuff in it um, another quick thing I want to tell you guys is this time of year in, in this area is getting very close to this time of year where birds are going to start to try to find places to nest so if your airplane is tied down um, or even in a hangar because I noticed when I opened up the hangar door I saw a bunch of grass and stuff falling from the hangar door so the birds are looking to start nesting uh, in the next month or so so when you're doing your pre-flight checks you always should do a double check in your engine compartment obviously exhaust and everything else make sure you do a triple check this time because everybody's looking to well not everybody all the birds are looking to make nests and they love airplanes for some reason uh, all right folks stick around
This is Pat. He likes to get this one. I like to yell all the time. Nav lights on. Strobe lights on. Oh, uh, transponder set to uh, one two zero zero. And let's get the weather. For marks, density altitude one thousand. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation. One niner four two Zulu. Wind three four zero at one six. Peak gusts two four. That's not too bad. One zero. Gusts to two. Gusts to two four. It's definitely gonna be a windy day. Last time it was three. Three two. Remember three one. Gusts. Yep. Minus zero niner Celsius. Altimeter three zero two two. Remarks. Density <sighs> altitude. Uh, we got a uh, high pressure coming in. So, so definitely gonna be using a uh, runway two six today. Okay. So we're going to uh, Lancaster. We're going to Lancaster. Lancaster. Sounds like a plan. Going to Lancaster. Let me see if I could. All right, so we have three cameras going. Welcome back, Pat's here. Say hi. Hello, guys. Pat's the yeller. Yeah, you should have. Uh, glad thing there was no audio equipment um, or that formation flying. You <laughs> I know. <laughs> so we have annoying. three cameras. We kind of messed up the one that's facing over the shoulder, so we don't have that option available. So we have the panel view, a view looking at us, and a view outside the right uh, air, uh, wing here. And I'll move the cameras around so you guys can see the front some points. Checking the right side, left side, good. I think 2 6, right? Yeah, we're going to use around with 2 yeah, 6. Perfect. It's almost. Look, look, looking at the wind stock, it's yeah. almost directly down. Uh, winds are pretty, gust, pretty gusty today, up uh, in the mid in the mid 20s. But it's supposed to be uh, calming down uh, later on today during the evening. Uh, what time is it right now? Uh, about oh, it's about quarter to three, about five o'clock. The winds are supposed to be dying down, so right when we get to Lancaster, of course, winds should be should be calm. At least that's what the weather said. But the northeast, never know. Weather makes up its own mind. <laughs> Does. Uh, so, but just taxiing around Orange County. This is a 1969, right? Yep, 1969 Mooney M20C Ranger. Yours is a 60. Yours is a year older. 60 younger. No, yep. older. No, yeah, older, yeah, yep. yeah, older. 68. Yep. Uh, now, the, was that the is that the cafe you were talking yes. about on the phone? Yes. So that's what I'm thinking about renting and having. County a, traffic. Diamond Twins. That's uh, cool. Lima Hotel. Nine Mile Final Island. Have a little, have have a little flying maybe. Invite people to come out and hang out for a day, a couple Ooh, hours. Flying, nice. They're using the ILS for only four. Yeah. Winds are They're practicing like usual. Ah. Okay. Winds are favoring kind of two two and two six, but yeah, I don't like these, these camera views are so much easier in my plan. It's already set. Just kind of plug them in. Oh well. All right, handy dandy checklist time. Yep. Doing the run up. Center set. How much fuel on that side? Uh, we got tw uh, 20 gallons, so nice. we have plenty of fuel on board. Mixture is rich. Prep higher PM. Okay, checklist is complete. Right? Yep. Now pre takeoff checklist. We've got the who is it? The flaps in. We've got the, put the props are already at the high RPM. Let it let on. Picture is rich. Where's that? Tr where's that traffic? That's on the ILS for four. Don't see him. Orange County traffic. Twin to one Lima Hotel. Three mile final ILS for Orange County. We'll wait. We'll wait for him. He's three miles. Three miles out. Want to put in the destination? How do you put the flight plan in that? Direct two. Yeah, you can hit direct two. Hit and then uh, K Lima or Kilo Lima, November Sierra. There you go. Lancaster Airport. Correct. How many miles is that? Uh, 125. That's not too bad. It's a good no, flight. It's, uh, 
We're going to be definitely facing a pretty big headwind getting there, so I estimate probably getting there going to be... Five hours? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, for, and, uh, and your old Grumman, yes, probably. My Grumman be five hours, correct. <laughs> but uh, no, probably an hour and a half or so, hour and a half or so. Nice flight. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see him. All righty. Uh, so runway two six. We're gonna be taking off on two six. So uh, we're gonna do uh, about seventy five for rotation, and then we're gonna climb at a hundred miles, a hundred miles an hour. Lane catch traffic. Uh, Mooney six nine or three. Orange County. Mike, Orange County traffic. I'll edit that out. Don't worry. <laughs> wow. Do it over. Orange County traffic, uh, Mooney, 693, Mike, Mike, uh, departing on runway uh, 26, uh, straight out, Orange County. All righty, let's do it. <sighs> so, 75 for rotation, 100 miles an hour for, for the climb. Our airspeed does not come up. By the time we hit the first uh, taxiway on our right, and uh, we'll abort. Fuel pumps is on, carburetor heat is off, mixture is rich, and we get where's the wind, so put in that crosswind correction. Full power. Orange County traffic, Air speed's coming alive. Clear all runways, Orange County. Engines in the green. 60, 70, rotate. Sideways. Whoop, whoop. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up indicated. Gear up is confirmed. Climbing at 100. It's bouncy, you're right. It will smooth up once we get higher. And Lane Delight could come off, fuel pump could come off, flaps are tracked. Or climb. Throttle's going to go to 25. Prop's going to go to 25. Uh, just decrease the mixture just a little bit. Nice and clear. It is very severe clear, as they call it. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a nose down trim. And we're going to make our <laughs> little bit of a left turn to Lancaster. What's the uh, approach frequency right here? Uh, 132, forget, 75. Thank you. Oh, turn that heat down. Woo! -hee. <laughs> there like, we go. I like being, uh, hot. I set the thermostat. Uh, we got a bird to our. Bye bye, bird. Bye bye. He's he's, a, he's, a, he's flying sideways too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I turned the heat up in in my house. That uh, it's very hot in my house. I'm sure it is. A uh, nice. Uh... What are you climbing to? What? You guys, what are you climbing to? Uh, bird, I'm going to climb to uh, to. We're going to start out at uh, 4,500 and see how it is afterwards. All right. If it's... Is that a horse track right below us? Yes, that's Goshen, I believe. That's that's cool. Oh, and there's Randall Airport right there. I think that is. Yeehaw! Yeah, it's Randall. Yep, right there. Remember my car was parked there? We couldn't land because they didn't have the lights on? Tried, there was no notums or anything like that? No notums on anything. That's how they roll, I guess. That's not... That thing's sticking out over there in the front. That's not high point, is That's it? That's high point, That's yeah. high point? I don't live too far from there. No, I don't live pretty, pretty far from there at all. Probably like... 20-ish miles? Get flight following? I want to I wanna get flight following. Good. Uh, New York Approach, uh, Mooney, 693, Mike, Mike. 
And who is that? Uh, this is November 693, Mike, Mike. 693, Mike, Mike, New York. Uh, we'd like to uh, pick up uh, flight following to uh, Kilo, Lima, November, Sierra. We are uh, we're just north of the Huguenot VOR, just over uh, Randall Airport. That's a 06 November. Well, 0326. 0326 for Mooney through Mike. Mike. At 3,500. It is bouncy. Yeah, but it is smoothing up. Yeah, it's better up here for sure. Wah! <laughs> When you're on camera, you don't like you don't yell as much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you. I behave on camera. Are you, are you camera shy? <laughs> yes. I am very scared. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to edit half the video out because you're yelling. <laughs> right, six nine three, Mike. Mike, New York radar contact just east of Cobb. Uh, you can up by five miles. Altimeter at Stewart at three zero two three. Three zero two three for Mooney through McMine. Thank you. And what's your on course heading? Uh, two four one is going to be my approximate on course heading, and we're going to level off at four thousand five hundred for right now. All right, let me know any altitude change. I'm going to work a handle for you right now. Thank you so much. We'll do Mooney through McMine. Did you say type back from Mooney? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we're Mooney. A real Mooney? <laughs> Three Mike Mike, uh, New York approach 127.6, they'll have further advisories for you. 127.6 for Mooney through Mike Mike, take care. Give it. <laughs> they, they designed it so you can... Oh, so I got you. It's, it's not that hard. That's pretty cool. They designed it for that. Yeah. It's down 10 o'clock low, he's going to be runway ahead and going to two. At our cruising altitude, so we're just going to let off, right. After departure, exec jet 938. Oh, that's a busy channel. 2000 runway. Oh, yeah, 938. I do about it. I love this guy. He's awesome. 938. Amber 7, Julius, 106 to the Pets. Me gives you four behind Challenger. Contact Terra 19.5. 106 on the street, 19.5. That's your show. Exec 938, tell up through 6 to cloud to 3 tabs. Left 360, 3,000. Give a 30 mile knot headwind. Uh, you know you're shooting the on average, race 6, circle to 1. Affirm, 938. Very good. 210 knots, 360 head and 3,000 feet. Approach uh, November 693, Mike Mike, leveled off by 4,500. 938, 360 head and 3,000 feet. 360, 3,000, 210, exit 938. Accept 14, down to 3,000. Down to three, keep speed up, clock shift 440. 020 for the 6. 020 for .com, 30 uh, 693, Mike, Mike. Good afternoon. Afternoon, moving through my five. Here we are, Tim, as you go through, 3023. 3023, thank you. Free with Mike. He's such a nice guy. Yeah, he is. Even when he gets overwhelmed, he takes his, he helps, he helps everybody. Yep. I hear him a lot on uh, approaches uh, frequency. Uh, headwind's actually not as bad right now uh, as I thought it was going to be. On the way back, we'll be. Whoo! It's going to be We're indicating 155. 132. Yep. So it's 22 not headwind. Back cleared, our nav 6, circle to 1, flagship 414, 3 12 steps. Three to lead, that's correct. Three to lead.
Dot com 3084, you turn right direct to lead again. Right direct to lead for dot com 3084. Dot com 3084, 5 west of Alita, cross Alita 3, clear down on 6, circle of 1, and slow down to 180. I'm going to put a suction cup right here, facing like that. I know. Six circle to one for dot com Across the leader at three. Across the leader at three for dot com three zero four. I mean, what you could do is take take that suction cup in the back and uh, move it and move it over there. We have no, we have another one back there. Up. Is there another one back there? No. Oh, off the window, you mean? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. There's high point right there. Yep. I haven't been uh, to uh, Lancaster. I haven't been to Lancaster Airport in a while. Great food there. Last time I was there, uh, we saw a pair of uh, eight ten warthogs just doing uh, low approaches there. Really? That, that that was cool. They're probably like, and they were low too. It was a very low approach. They're probably like only hovering about like twenty feet above the runway, just like cruising along. Two two zero, slow to one ninety. Your seats are definitely higher than mine. Yep. I like that. I, I I can't get used to sitting in. in it's low, right? Yeah, your plane is very low. I think the guy who owned it before me, well, he was pretty tall. Maybe he made it like that. Probably. Yeah, there's Sussex Airport right there. Yep. And Pocono should be off of our off off the right soon, or coming up. They're they're right above over that ridge over there. Really? They're about 20 miles west of us, basically. I've only landed. Jet 938, 6 northwest of Alita, left direct to Alita, Alita 3, cleared on out of X ray, 6, circle of 1. Alita, Alita 3, R nav 6, circle 1, exit jet 938. Correct, slow to 170. 170, 938. Dot com 3084, hold 180 knots for now. 180 knots for now, dot com 3084. You have a lot, you have most of your time in a Mooney, right? Yeah, uh, pretty much, almost all, almost all of it has been in this Mooney. So, uh, I think I'm close, if not, I just recently passed 600 flight hours. Got wow. got this plane when I had 90 flight hours at mo at, at most. So yeah, um, you uh, you fly every day. Um, almost. Hey, I try I try to I try to. One way to build up got to build up the hours somehow. Yeah, I know. I hear you. Uh, that magic number 1500. Oh, I can't hold it up. Charlie, 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 The Moody is a stable airplane for sure. Well, the Moody is a stable airplane for sure. Yeah. Which hotel, Charlie? Yeah. Four thousand. Moody three, Mike. Mike, out of town. Twenty-four forty-five. Two four four five. Have a good trip. Twenty-four forty-five for Moody three, Mike. Mike, good day. See you on the way back. I'll be here for you. You want to have lunch at the restaurant? Uh, affirmative. Bring me back something. If not, we'll let you back through. <laughs> good day. Take care. <laughs> he's all he's awesome that guy. He's so nice. Bring me back something or else I'm not gonna let you through. He's, he's a good guy. Oh. <laughs> he's gonna put up a wall for us so we don't, so we don't go through. Here, how am I gonna flip it? I touch the top one? There, there you go. go. <laughs> Approach uh Mooney, six nine to three Mike Mike, level four thousand five hundred. Three six nine or three, Mike Mike, Allentown first. Delta Air three zero two four. What's your destination? Uh, Kima, Lima, uh, Kilo Lima, uh, November Sierra, uh, Lancaster. Three, Mike Mike, Roger. Report fire change your altitude. Well, we'll report for Mooney three, Mike Mike. Going to the. I wonder if he's a pilot. Uh, yeah. Sounds like he might be. You know. I mean, he knows that there's a restaurant. There's a restaurant there, so. Most of those guys are pilots. I, I can see. I can see that. But working.
working, but working uh, center like that, I wonder how much time he actually gets to be flying. Because those guys, they're busy, non yeah. almost nonstop, 24/7, guiding and helping, helping us in the tri-state area. Delta two four six Delta Mike eight Delta. Two two four six Delta Mike downtown approach. Delta Mike. Yeah, I should put a camera in the front. Three zero two four. You can always move it. Yeah, I can. It's not gonna be blocking my. It's not gonna be blocking me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now we got a camera out the front. That's better. That's way better. How is it just sitting back and relaxing? Oh my god, it's great. Watching you do all the work, it's great. Yeah, right? And, um... So Pat's an avi aviation fanatic, and he has not gone to Oshkosh yet. <laughs> I know. I put on... close to about 230 hours, 250 hours a year, every year. And I have yet to go to... I've yet to go to Oshkosh. Oh, hopefully this year you're good to go. Yep. But this six thousand Mike, and maintain six thousand. Oh, it's bouncy. It's a very bouncy. Yeah, bouncy. nice road with that river there. That's cool. At 35 minutes to go. Take a pretty good time. You want the headwind. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, lost, one, lost one battery already. I think it's really hot right there. I don't know what happened. I um, can't believe it died. Oh, we changed it. That one's running. We got the audio back. That's good. Yeah, it's, I don't know why it's been... Three, three, Mike, Mike, that traffic's at your 1 o'clock and 8 miles eastbound, 3,500 cents. Still can't find the traffic up from where we're in but we're looking. Oh, got the traffic in sight. I got him in sight, yep. Traffic in sight from where three, Mike, Mike. Three, three, Mike, Mike, Roger. Uh, now it's difficult to spot. But he's low and he's matching, you know, he's blending in with the terrain, you know? Yep. Price to tower information, Julia, 19530, winds 310 at 10, zero, zero, gust 18, visibility 10, zero, sky clear below 10. So yeah, it's calmer over there. Oh, yeah. So. Minus 7, altimeter 3027. Expect visual approach, runway 26 or runway 31. <laughs> It is bouncy. Nice down below, though. Yep. Very few clouds in the sky. Oh, wow. That's the uh, diagram for the airport. Yep. Nice. I like it. Oh. So we're always... Um Allentown, uh, good afternoon, two on 4907, 4000, and uh, we got Charlie. 4907, Allentown approach, yes, 3025, you want runway 31 or 24, turn wind, 31011, gusting 21. 3025, we'll take 24, two on 4907. 4907, Roger, you expect vision approach 24. We'll expect that. Can you bring up approach charts on here? Oh, yeah. That's... That's probably one of the best features on this thing when I fly, uh, when I fly IFR. Yep. It's just bringing up uh, bringing up anything. Or how do you go, how do you go to it? Well, it's um, difficult because we need to load a, uh, a procedure. Uh, at, uh, but what we could do is airport, and then um, all these procedures, uh, uh, procedures, and you could get um, whatever 
whatever you want, the visuals. Downtown November, 5 8 5 uh, ILS, R, R NAV for 8. 5 6 zero, downtown uh, you, And you can yeah, uh, view the chart. There you go, yeah. 3,200 to uh, 4,500. And uh, like here's the call. I'd like to uh, Lancaster if possible. That's cool. 5 6 zero, see that aircraft. The chart, I right B 95 Split view. There's a taxi so airport diagram, four, alternate three, minimums, four. time descent and off, land and hold short, lassos. Has every has everything like you would on like a paper on a paper, right. but just on on the G, on the GPS itself. So five, six, zero, radar contact that's, customer, three zero that's two five nice. on course. Three zero two five on course. Five six zero. That is nice. That's very nice. I love that. Three Mike Mike, contact Reading approach one two five point one five. Twenty five one five for Mooney three Mike Mike. So long. Reading approach uh, Mooney six nine three Mike Mike. Level off at uh, four thousand five hundred. Mooney six nine three Mike Mike. Reading approach running altimeter three zero two five. Say destination. Destination is uh, is uh, Lancaster Airport for Mooney three Mike Mike. It's very quiet out here. Yeah, very quiet. Well, we're not dumb enough to find its wind like we are. <laughs> All right. Perfect timing. That one just died? Yep. That's okay, because I get to change it before he lands. I gotta do a lot of editing now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and it's really, you know how hot? These are hot. I don't know why they're so hot. Oh wow! I have a battery pack for these. I can I can put the battery packs on them. Yeah. That's the Osh when I go to Oshkosh. That's what I have to do. That'd be useful. Yeah. What the hell? Love Oshkosh. It is awesome. I don't, I don't know anybody who doesn't like Oshkosh. <laughs> I guess people that hate aviation. But those people, are, but those people are weird. They're weird. People who hate aviation are weird people. Yep. Do you know what I, you know what I like? I like when people that don't like aviation or noise buys houses by the airport <laughs> and they complain about the noise and they want to shut the airports down. Yes. Like you moved here. Like leave us alone. Believe it or not, that happens a lot in uh, the Teterboro area. People, I would imagine, yeah. People buy houses there, then they all complain about... Because Teterboro is a really, really busy private jet airport. But people move there, and they always complain about the noises. I mean, Teterboro Airport has been there for, I think, actually, at least 50... I think it's been open since, oh, the World, since, uh, since World War II. Yeah, a long time. Three Mike Mike, Radar Service Terminator, Squawk VFR. Mike Stars available, one two zero point nine. Have you one? Squawk VFR um, and one two zero point nine promoting from the mic. Good day. VFR. Good to go. Like at the tower, Mooney, 693 Mike, Mike, 2300 descending at uh, about nine and a half miles out from the northeast with Juliet. Travel Air 5856 Sierra. Uh, enter a right base for runway 26 and report 3 miles. Right base 26, report 3 miles, 56 Sierra. The other aircraft calling Lancaster Tower, say again. This is uh, Mooney 693 Mike Mike, uh, 9 knock miles out from uh, the northeast inbound with Juliet. Hey Mooney, 603 Mike Mike, uh, straight in approach, runway 26, report a four mile funnel. Straight in approach, we're on runway 26 for Mooney, three Mike oh. Mike. It is bouncy now down here. Yep. So, going straight in for runway 26. Let's do it. Like as a tower, Mooney, 693, Mike Mike, reporting four miles out. Mooney, 693, Mike Mike, runway 26, clear to land, hold short of runway 31. 
Runway 26, clear to land and hold short of uh, runway 31, Mooney 3, Mike Mike. Travel Air 200, Kilo Delta, ground 121.8. 21.8, Kilo Delta. Flats are coming in. Below 120, gear comes down. Gear down indicated. Gear down confirmed. Props coming in higher. Air 5856 Sierra, left well, turn at hotel two. and ground control 121.8 when you're clear. Left, left turn at hotel 121.8, 56 Sierra. Thanks to power, 70 whiskey is missed at 3 miles. Cherokee 5 downer, 70 whiskey, Lancaster Tower, runway 31, cleared low approach. Clear low approach. We're going to go just go miss now. Seven zero whiskey. All right. You want three six zero three? That is correct. Three six zero and three thousand. Seven zero whiskey. Good job. Mooney six nine or three. Mike Mike. A left turn at hotel. Ground control one two one point eight. Left the hotel one two one point eight for Mooney three. Mike Mike. Well, we made it to Lancaster. Thank you, Pat, for getting us here safely. Yes. For the first time. Call on ground, second. Saratoga, 8024 Delta, up at the west ramp, Juliet, EFR, Atlantic City. All right, guys, till next time, fly safe, be safe. Yes. See ya. That's what you got to say. That's what I wanted to say? Oh, well. That's okay. You'll get, you'll, you'll get used to it. Go check out the rest. That's a pretty nice play. What is that? Comanche 250. It's nice. Pat yelling like usual. <laughs> Don't know why. So they're doing construction up here. So it's called the flight deck. That's what this restaurant, I guess, is called, yeah. Flight deck. Now smoking. Look at all the construction they're doing. My goodness. This way. I know. Let's go look. Let's go look at this. Lancaster Airport here. Has a look in here. That's pretty cool. Always has been. Pretty big place, actually. Do you have TSA here? Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. Department of Homeland Security. Nice. Buy some tickets away from the for Orange County way back. So not to fly ourselves? Want to buy tickets to go back to Orange County instead of flying? Come well, on, what do you think, Pat? I'm much rather fly my own plane. Yeah, Probably faster. Probably faster. That's not is pretty cool. Alright, let's go eat. You know who's also remodeling is uh, well, Poughkeepsie, remodeling their, whole, their, their airport oh, too. About, about time, dead, dead. See, Big airport. See, okay. come in the main doors, make a left, and there's, oh, here's the, there's the name of it. 14, yeah, that's what I thought, so. Wow, that's just a flight deck outside for a bar. Right. Pat, what do you got there? Ah, some pretzel bites. They're really oh good. I can't have any. I'm on a diet. I can have this with that. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get, Pat? Just an iPod. Just a nice personal. What's it, what's per it called? An iPod? iPod. Is it called an iPod? iPod. <laughs> it's an iPhone. What the heck's an iPod? It's an iPhone. That's an iPod? I mean, it's a, I, just, a pers just a personal pizza. An, an iPizza, it's called. It's called an iPod. Okay. I can still break. I can still break. That's right no, okay. I, I believe you. All right. Do, do you believe me? Just, just eat so you can fly home. <laughs> Pat is having a very hard time filling the plane for some reason. No, you scratched my paint. Oh, because you forgot to put the damn top on the because freaking. You open, why would you open the door? 
We told me to get out of the plane so you can get in. No, he didn't. Okay. Yeah. He forgot to put the cap. Now you can get out. He forgot to put the cap on the top and he told me to get out and it wasn't like that and it fell down. Why are you always yelling? Now you gotta re. Oh wait! <laughs> you <laughs> you re re <laughs> I, I forgot the receipt. It's in the machine. It's in the machine. Yeah, so he had a hard time getting in the plane. All the batteries in the cameras, and uh, he's yelling me to get in the plane, get out of the plane, get in the plane because he forgets the receipt. Oh, I started it up and everything. I was like, oh, I forgot the receipt. So go get it. I have to get back out again. <laughs>